I remember when I was getting my first summer job back in high school and everything. When you're trying to get that first job, you're stuck in this catch-22. Uh, Cause nobody would hire me cause I didn't have any experience. But then how can I get the experience if nobody's ever gonna hire me? And then you fast forward, um, after you do get experience, you work a couple jobs. Now I get a CCNA and I try to go get a CCNA job or a networking job or, or just a job in tech period. And it's the same thing. Everybody's like, great, you got the CCNA, but you don't have any experience. So we really can't hire you. So again, it's that catch 22. How am I going to get the experience if nobody is going to take that shot and hire me? So if this sounds familiar, it sounds like something that you're going through. That's what this video is going to be all about. I wanted to share this because um, I've seen a lot of stuff. I'm sure you've seen it online where people are applying over a thousand applications, all of that and still not getting hired. And I just want to share some methods and strategies that have worked for me over my career and that I still use to this day. And if you like my video from last week where I went over what I do as far as like my day-to-day -day tasks as a network engineer, then you should like this video as well because it's gonna be pretty much all the things that I had to do to even get in this position as far as like getting on that job hunt, right? And having to find a job to even be able to work as a network engineer. So that's what this video is gonna be all about. Make sure that you do lock in with me. If you do like this content, turn on the notification bells cause I'm dropping every week and everything, these videos. So you don't wanna miss next week's episode or any, any of my upcoming content that I'll be dropping. All right, let's get into it. And we'll start off or I'll start off by talking about the first kind of topic there's gonna be like three topics as far as getting a job with no experience goes and this first topic that i'm gonna be talking about is pretty much like a mindset that i learned or like a concept and i'm sure you heard it before if you haven't it's kind of like you just got to stay down until you come up right what i mean by that is that you're gonna have to humble yourself even even that's what that's something that i had to do even though i had a ccna my first job was not uh, necessarily working with my CCNA. I had to take a help desk job. And again, I was just trying to get my foot in the door into IT because I didn't have any kind of background in IT. I didn't have any kind of experience. So after applying to so many jobs, I had to like take a step back and like start to really strategize how to get in there, especially in my position coming with uh, no IT experience and then I had that felony background. So there was a lot of things that I had to do differently than the normal person that probably took the conventional way, right? You could either come in through going to school for it right out of high school or something. I didn't go into it right after high school, right? And then go to college and then land a job that way. Or you can come in through it from going to the military. I didn't go through the military as well because you could, you could definitely get your foot in the door when you're coming in those ways. But this is just coming straight with just no, didn't even have any work experience on my stuff and I'm trying to get a job, right? Because I, I had a whole gap in my like career as far as corporate is concerned, as far as jobs. So you just have to take any kind of job that you can get mainly when 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 nothing's working for you and yes the help desk job definitely um i wasn't feeling that job it, it was definitely tough right it was one of the i did help desk uh desktop support for dell and this is just like end users at, at their house and everything and they would call in and ask for support and it would be like old ladies just saying that the screen is blank and you'd be like, well, ma'am, is the uh, monitor turned on? And they'll be like, what's a monitor? I mean, nothing against the old ladies out there. I love my old ladies. But again, that job, uh, having a CCNA, I didn't really want to be working in there, but it definitely helped me improve my soft skills, right? But it didn't last long because I just, I just wasn't a good fit for that position. And then my next job after that was, again, I, I kept on trying to apply with the CCNA because I knew that it was going to expire, but I couldn't get no jobs. So I, I went in and um, I was a cable guy for a couple of years, which another job that I didn't like. But again, it was in the realm of technology. Right. And I think that taking these jobs is what really 
helped me out to land that finally that job when I did get into a knock because what you got to understand is that you want to when somebody's reviewing your resume and you don't have any experience yes that we have the lab experience and everything like that but as far as the real world experience you want to at least if you can't put there at least put like you're trending toward that way right so what I mean by that is like they see okay he worked at the help desk he worked as a cable guy he's in technology within the realm he just hasn't specifically worked with networking equipment at least they know that the next and that you got a CCNA of course having that certification is definitely going to open them doors and again it's going to show them that hey at least this the next job this guy is committed to this this guy or this girl or whatever is committed to this and he is going to eventually land a CCNA job so that's what I mean by staying down till you come up it may not be that job that you want and if you're in a help desk job right now and you still want to be more with networking equipment and stuff just make sure that you keeping that mindset don't get any of those jobs that I got in I didn't get locked in there I didn't have a mindset like yeah this is it I'm gonna be working this dead-end job or whatever I didn't look at it as a dead-end job I just looked at it stepping stone right just another brick on my foundation for me to get to the position where I ultimately wanted to be and where I'm at today as a network engineer so that's the first topic just make sure that you take any kind of job you get I don't care if it's um working at Best Buy and, and nothing against none of these jobs these are all good jobs like you could work at what is that Geek Squad if they still got that for Best Buy or even working in the electronics department of like a Walmart or whatever and, and for people in the United States if you're in another country I don't know what y'all got but you get you get point what I'm trying to say you know what I'm saying is like you just have to get working with technology whatever kind of if it's some kind of electronics thing around your way just try to get into that kind of job at least when people start looking at your your experience it looks like you're trying to build experience in the IT world so that would be my first point and my first topic again for my next topic this car I kind of already just spoke about it in the previous topic and it's about having this CCNA a lot of people I guess they'll they'll tell you that or maybe you're you're thinking maybe people won't tell you but maybe you're just thinking just because you got a CCNA automatically you get a high paying job and you work from home um, in my experience that it doesn't work like that uh, again you're gonna have just like anything in life you're gonna have to work towards it right but some people are just blessed so you you can get it you can get it more power to you if you got it as soon as you get your ccna you study for it get your ccna and then uh you know you land that high paying job and you're working from home automatically if it hey listen i ain't gonna knock it right but if that doesn't happen for you don't, don't let that discourage you you know um just keep on grinding make sure you just uh put your head down and just just realize that it may not just work out just because you got a CCNA but also you did put in that work so don't let it um, stop you from applying to these jobs just make sure that you're the jobs you're applying for are more you tailored toward that CCNA don't try to apply for like a senior network engineering job when you just got a CCNA and you don't have experience maybe that's what's holding you back uh, maybe that's why you're not getting callbacks or anything like that but um, I can speak from my experience. When I got the CCNA, I didn't just uh, get a job working with Cisco networking equipment off top. Uh, and my first real CCNA job was working in a NOC for an MSP. Um, if you don't know, if you haven't seen any of my other videos, I talk about it, but that was my first job uh, is working in a NOC with an MSP. But that job took me close to two years just to land and that was just I, I did the applying to thousands of jobs I just kept applying and applying and getting callbacks going on interviews getting turned down getting frustrated and everything and trust me um I know the feeling I I definitely wanted to give up as well but you just got to understand if you give up then that the that then you gonna fail and the only thing that beats a fail is a try so just as long as you constantly trying I don't care if it takes you five years I don't care if it takes you ten years eventually somebody's gonna have to hire you so it may look 
you may not see that like light at the end of the tunnel right now but you got to just keep on applying and, and especially if you got that certification keep on applying if you don't got it work towards it and work towards getting like i said those um jobs that will just get you into any kind of technology kind of tech job anything like that also during this time when when you're just applying for the jobs definitely don't get discouraged make sure that you you're staying ready so you don't have to get ready make sure that you're up on all of that uh information that you studied in the ccna right and that you're still labbing and that you're still doing your research right so you're sharp in these interviews because maybe that's why you're failing just because you got the ccna maybe you fell off a little bit and you don't really know stp that much or something and maybe that's getting you caught up make sure that you just stay sharp all the time right so when you get on these interviews because um if you're not getting the callbacks after the interview or if you're not even getting considered for a job it, it it's probably just your strategy of how you're going to apply for jobs you can't just be applying into the void and just blasting out your resume and just applying to all these different kind of jobs and job. that kind of leads me into the third part which is the or my third topic and the final topic which is going to be about strategy again it's all about your strategies that you're gonna have to use to be able to get yourself in the best position to get a call back or something so um what i've learned is really not about what you know it's really about who you know so you're gonna have to start networking if you don't know a lot of people you're gonna have to I don't know you could try to look up tech conferences in your area and start networking like that and work on your soft skills to where you can approach somebody and just say hey where do you work at blase squase i'm trying to get into tech is there any way that you could help me or point me in the, that kind of direction so you can network that way um and what i've learned is that to get many of my jobs it's, it's really been off of referrals and not there could be indirect referrals and then there could be direct referrals so i would say like a direct referral is like you somebody and then boom they like yeah go ahead put my boy in that way i've done it i've passed my resume on to my hiring manager and like no you gotta hire this person so i can speak from experience that that's gonna move you to the top of the pile versus somebody that's just applying and they they're not coming in highly referred right and then like an indirect referral i would say is like you might know somebody from like that you met at a networking tech conference or whatever and they might have a recruiter sometimes these recruiters be like hey i got a job and if you know anybody can you share this job with them make sure that your network is built up in, with people that are in it right you got to start surrounding yourself around people that are in it if, if you're surrounded around people that aren't even in in this field and you're trying to get a job in this field your chances are going to be slim to none it can happen but it's just you're making it that much harder for your for yourself so just try to start to network with um different people i'm not saying you have to have like this amazing network of all these it professionals maybe like two to three people that you've met or something in passing or, or something where you happen to meet these people maybe even online in these discords and all of that kind of stuff linkedin whatever and just stay in contact with them and again a recruiter may hit them that's how it's happened for me before some cat would be like hey i got this job this recruiter keeps help hit me up about i don't know if you're looking but here i'll forward the email to you if you want to go ahead and try to get this job so that has helped out a lot you're gonna have to do that sometimes and just applying to these companies not always just going to these job boards like indeed and everything sometimes these big companies they have career sections so if you're just applying through indeed or um i don't know if you're finding them on linkedin or whatever other kind of tech job boards there is try to apply to a company directly through their career section sometimes it works that way so you can find it that way um, other than being found by a recruiter you can just go right to their career section and then they can list out the jobs and there may be one for like an entry level position for you, for people that got a CCNA or maybe not even have a CCNA, but it's, it's really, you gotta really just think outside the box when you're trying to get into these jobs. It's not gonna be just one size fits all cookie cutter kind of thing. If you 
really trying to get in there you got to develop that skill of being on the job hunt because it, it really is a skill and that should be your number one job especially if you don't have a job that's how i looked at it if you that's why i was able to put out a thousand applications a day because i was like well i got eight hours everybody else at work ain't nothing else to do so i'm gonna just sit here on this computer and blast out these resumes and, and make sure you're following up calling after or even if you email somebody or something like that call them don't just communicate through email pick up the phone and give somebody a call call up to that company sometimes i've even went as far as going up to that company right like that dell company i went up there and asked to speak to a hiring manager and they would be like oh he or she is at lunch oh, well can i uh when they get back from lunch what time do they get back from lunch and then just just show up at these places there ain't no shame in that and there ain't nothing against the law to doing that it's just you gotta get your face you gotta get yourself in front of these people if it, if at all possible and you gotta do whatever you gotta do to get into these jobs because then after you get into these jobs and you're working with the ccna and you get some experience then you start getting the recruiters they start noticing it and then they'll start coming after you or at least that's how it's worked out in my experience all right my ninjas that pretty much wraps it up hopefully again this information is useful hopefully it just helps out somebody i'm trying to share this information as much as possible also if you want to connect with me um, i'm trying to do mentorships and stuff like that if, if you want some kind of mentorship just hit me on the email i got my email in my bio or you could drop a comment if you want definitely uh like the video you already know trying to get turned up in these algorithms so you know liking the video and sharing it and commenting and all that stuff helps and especially subscribe if you definitely feel in the content and you want to see more content like this make sure to subscribe and everything so you can lock in with your boy i'll catch y'all on that next video holla at me peace